So today, we have Supergirl taking on Jane Foster with the powers of Thor. Who wins? Let's find out. So, Jane Foster is a scientist and is Thor's love interest. But during a fight against Nick Fury, Thor lost the ability to wield Mjolnir. It sat on the moon where it telepathically sought out Jane for weeks. She eventually gave in to Mjolnir's call and requested Heimdall to take her to the moon. Once there, she lifted Mjolnir, gaining the powers of Thor. She got Thor's royal Asgardian physiology, allowing her to easily lift way over 100 tons, move at incredible speeds, and, and can withstand a ton of damage, similarly to the actual Thor. She has, as a, uh, she has Asgardian reflexes, stamina, agility, and healing factor. She can project lightning bolts from her hands. Her only weapon is, of course, Mjolnir. Although not having the original uh, training that Thor had or experience that he had, she's rather proficient at using it as a blunt weapon. It allows her to fly at tremendous speeds, control and manipulate the weather, manipulate the elements, uh, project powerful, powerful mystical blast, and it's assumed she can do everything that Thor could do. She's proven to be an efficient brawler. Her only weakness uh, is if she's separated from Mjolnir for too long, she slowly turns back into a human because Mjolnir is the only reason she has these powers in the first place. And in the other corner, we have Supergirl. Kara Zor-El, or Linda Lang, is a Kryptonian and Superman's older cousin. She defends Metropolis alongside Superman and the Justice League of America as Supergirl. Due to her physiology, she has the same powers as Superman, just to a little lesser degree. Uh, absorbing solar energy from a yellow star is her main source of power, and without it, she'd be severely weakened. She has immense strength, with it being on par with Wonder Woman and Superman. She has superhuman durability, as she survived hits from Superman and other hard hitters, and even Darkseid's Omega Beams. She's extremely fast, as she has kept up with Superman and uh, Flash, but Barry wasn't going all out. The speed is also extends to her flight as she can fly at least the speed of light, if not faster. She has superhuman stamina, agility, and reflexes. She has enhanced hearing and vision. She also has telescopic, x-ray, microscopic, and infrared vision. Uh, she has heat vision and super slash freeze breath on par with Superman's. She's a formidable hand to hand combatant, being trained by the Amazons, and she knows the first level of Clerk Corps, a Kryptonian martial art. Despite her training, though, she normally just uses a brawling style of fighting. So, in strength, they're surprisingly close. Despite her short time, Jane has some impressive strength feats, like when she battled against Odin and actually injured him, something the regular Thor hasn't been able to do. On the other hand, Supergirl has sent Superman flying with just one punch, and Clark said he's never been hit harder, and he's been hit by Doomsday, Darkseid, and other massive uh, hitters. So I'd say they're fairly equal in strength. Same goes for durability. like. Supergirl has more impressive feats, but Jane uh, has some impressive feats, and she has a nice healing factor behind it. But without a doubt, Supergirl is faster. She's faster in every way, flight, running, reflexes, all that. But Thor's fast, or Jane's fast enough to keep up with her. Neither of them are skilled fighters, as they both just use a brawling style of fighting. But if you want to get technical, Supergirl is more skilled due to being trained by the Amazonians and knowing the first level of the Kryptonian martial arts uh, clerk core. Jane is a formidable combatant though, as she's watched Thor fight and she just mimics him. But like I said, they both just brawl around. Jane is more versatile as she has Mjolnir that allows her to do all sorts of stuff and powers that are all magical based. And when Kryptonians are weak to magic. Supergirl just has her heat vision and super breath and can't really compare her to all the magical powers that Mjolnir gives Jane. But the thing is, Jane never used Mjolnir to its highest potential like the original Thor did. And she normally just used it as a blunt weapon or sometimes to project lightning blasts. This would hurt Supergirl but it wouldn't put her down. This plus a greater speed is what I believe gives Supergirl the victory. Like and subscribe